In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Texas Tech University Library website to locate research articles. This can be particularly helpful for Texas Tech University students, staff, and faculty because it allows you to sign in with your eRater account and gain access to many research journals that Texas Tech subscribes to. So first to begin, you can type in library.ttu.edu, which will direct you to the page you see here. There are lots of resources on the library website, but I'm going to show you one of the simplest ways to find research articles here. And that's simply using the one search function. You can see this is selected by default and there's a search bar here. For the purposes of this tutorial, let's say we're interested in looking for research on creatine, supplementation, and resistance exercise. So we could type in that search term here, creatine supplement, resistance exercise, and hit advanced search. So initially you can see there are 485 results. We also have this note here saying that it is including isometric exercise. Uh, perhaps we're not interested in isometric exercise, so we can click this option, just search creatine supplement resistance exercise. Doing that removes a few results that have been added looking at isometric exercise. You can also see this note up here in the search criteria that um, it is indicating any field could contain these terms we entered. If you wanted to, you could expand the search criteria um, and tweak which fields include these terms, such as the title, uh, the subject, or several other items. Out of curiosity, let's see here if we select title in search, we can see that the initial search actually resulted in no hits. However, it's noted that it was able to locate a few results by expanding the search. That expand my results option is also shown over here in this left bar. So once I click that, slightly different number of results, but it's pulling in six results. So this may, this may be what we want if we're looking for um, you know, an article very specifically on creatine supplements and resistance exercise. We want all those terms mentioned uh, essentially in the, the title of the article. We have a few good options to choose from here. So say we're interested in this first option, effects of a single dose of creatine-based multi-ingredient pre-workout supplement compared to creatine alone on performance, fatigability after resistance exercise. Perhaps that's related to what we want to find. We can click on this title. There's quite a bit of information here, including automatic um, reference exports, which can be useful if you're using this in the context of a research paper or something of that nature. There are also these full text links. So there are a few options here for where we can find the full text. We'll go ahead and select the first option. You can see that takes us to a journal website. So this is the journal Frontiers in Nutrition. Uh, we can see here this is an original research article and we can see citation information. There's information about the authors, their affiliation, and then here we can see a short summary of the article called an abstract. So it gives us the background, methods, results, and conclusions of the study. Below that we can get into the full research article. So there's the introduction, going into the methods, and so on. Alternatively, if we wanted to, we could download the article as a PDF. Now we can return to our search results on the Texas Tech Library website, and we can click out of this pop-up that we saw for that first article. So perhaps these six results are not exactly what we're looking for, or we need more results. That could mean that applying our search terms only to the title is too restrictive. So if we revert this back to any field, we can see 573 results. Um, this number is slightly higher than our initial search because we have this expand my results toggled on. If we took that off, it doesn't go out searching for related results that may have been missed with our initial search. So with that deselected, we can see we have about 441 results. One option for reviewing these would be to simply scroll through the results and read the titles, but there are some other options that can help us reduce the number. 
These can be modified by the creation date. So currently these results are ranging from 1997 to 2022. Perhaps we want more recent articles. We could refine this to 2015 to 2022. And we've reduced our number of results by about half. There are also options for material type. That won't help us too much here because almost all of these are articles already. Um, you could search particular collections. This isn't strictly necessary for most purposes, but sometimes if you're conducting a fairly systematic search, you may want to only be searching through certain databases. There are some other options such as language. Again, in this case, this isn't too helpful for us because most of the articles are in English anyway, but you could use these filters in some contexts to help you narrow down the results. One other thing to note here in the left side is that these are currently sorted by relevance. You could also sort them by author or title. Uh, these selections would not be as helpful. You could also sort them by date and see the newest results first. Sometimes this is useful if you're just wanting to locate very recent research, but at other times you will not get as relevant of results. So for example here, the second result is now about branch chain amino acids supplementation. So that's not really relevant to our initial search about creatine supplementation. So having the results displayed by relevance typically will give you better results. One thing to note here, particularly if you are off campus, is that you may need to sign in and the option to sign in to your eRater account is located at the top right portion of the screen. When you click that, you'll be directed to the default eRater sign-in uh, after you select that from this menu. And then after you've signed in, this will allow you to access full texts of articles that you may not have been able to access if you were not signed in to your Texas Tech account. I hope this brief tutorial has been helpful in allowing you to see how the library website can be used to locate relevant research quite easily and how using your Texas Tech login can allow you to gain access to the full text of articles that may otherwise be located behind a paywall.